If you help manage websites for your organization and use Google Analytics, you can have data synced directly into a Google spreadsheet on a routine basis, let's say 9 a.m. every day, by installing the Google Analytics add-on in your spreadsheet. In addition to using the add-on, you can record your steps using the Sheets Macro Recorder and convert that into a custom menu to automate the setup of your report and create a series of chart summaries. In this episode, I will share how to accelerate the process of gathering data on unique page views for this week, last week, this year, last year, the regional location of your audience, and top browsers used from your Google Analytics account into Google Sheets. Welcome to the Sheets to App Show, where we talk about how to tame these tabular beasts into productive applications. In this video's description, you can find a spreadsheet with a sample script, along with step-by-step -step instructions and other helpful resources. Make a copy of this sheet and give it a name. Conversely, you can watch this Google Analytics add-on tutorial that's also linked below. Next, you install the Google Analytics add-on into your sheet. Once installed from the add-ons menu at the top of your sheet, select Google Analytics and then Create New Report. A sidebar on the right pops up. First, name your report this week. Then, select an account from the dropdown that you have permissions to access from the profile you created the sheet with. Next, enter unique page views in the metrics field, and then enter page title in the dimensions field. Then click the Create Report button. Next, you need to populate your sheet with the values you want your report to run. This can be automated with the macro it contains. Run it by clicking the custom menu Analytics Helper and its option Setup Data. Your sheet will have several columns populated with values to view page views from this week, last week, this year, last year, browsers, and regions. Next, from the Add-ons menu, choose Google Analytics and then Run Reports. The add-on in a few seconds will create eight new tabs in your spreadsheet. Next, in order to create summary charts of each of these new tabs, make sure to click on the Summary tab in your spreadsheet in column A1. And from the Summary tab, now choose the custom menu Analytics Helper, and this time choose Create Summary. In a few seconds, you will have new charts summarizing all your data like this. You can optionally schedule the report to run as frequently as you wish. In this case, let's say daily by going to the Add-ons menu, then Google Analytics, and then Schedule Reports. Then select Every Day at 9 a.m. or as desired. Note, in order to cancel the report from being scheduled, return to the Add-ons menu and then the Schedule Reports option. Then you remove the checkbox called Enable Reports to run automatically. Next, you can create a Google site and insert the charts from your sheet. And thanks to the scheduled refresh, your website will have up-to-date charts. If you would like detailed instructions on how to create and design the site and then insert the charts, that too is linked in the description. Next, if you're interested in taking a look at the code generated by the macro, you can choose the Tools menu in your sheet and then Script Editor. Note, the macro includes the term Activate in the code, and it indicates in the script that a specific spreadsheet tab in the sheet, a range, or even a cell is the current one that the user wants to take action on. Note, you can create a custom menu in order to execute multiple different scripts generated by your macro all at once, or help users that make a copy of your sheet to run the same operation from a drop-down menu. And there you have it, 
I have shared how to combine a Google add-on with an app script that automates Google Analytics summaries and charts that you can optionally insert into a beautiful free website called Google Sites. And community, if you found this episode helpful, please click like and subscribe for future episodes. Cheers. Thank you.